In this episode, we're going to look at packed brokers and packed flow. Hi, I'm Mark Bradley, and welcome to Testing All The Things, a screencast in which we use live coding to demonstrate different types of testing tools and techniques. In this video, we're going to look at packed flow. This is a packed broker. As consumers, it will allow us to push our packed files to a central location. And then as providers, we can pull those packed files down and verify that the contracts have been met. Let's look at the code. The first code we're going to look at in this packed broker video is we'll look at the consumer code we created two episodes ago. We're not going to change any of the code here, but what we did previously in the last video was take a copy of this packed file here and paste it into our provider code. Rather than copying and pasting it in this episode, we're going to push it up to a packed broker. And for this, I'm going to use my packed flow account. You could run your own packed broker, or you could use this one provided by the people who built packed. To push my packed file up to my packed broker, I'm going to use the command line. I'm going to use this command here, the packed broker publish command. Now, I don't usually just run this on the CLI myself. This is usually part of my continuous integration, continuous deployment pipeline. This would be run at the point that all of the tests have passed and I'm about to push a new version of my client into master or to cut a tag. Depends on how you work, but you want this to be part of kind of your pipeline for this piece of code so that you only push your new change as it you know as you're moving towards production and not whilst you're in development so if we look at this so we're just providing the using the pack broker publish command we're providing the version of our consumer we provide the URL of our pack broker and we provide a authentication token for pack to use and then we provide it the packed file or files we want to send. In this case, we're only sending the one we've created. Okay. So if we run this now, that has published our contract up to our packed broker. If we go and look, our packed broker was previously empty. If we reload it, we now have one packed contract waiting for verification. We can view the packed, and it just has the tests that we've previously written here, so we can see them, and it shows that they're not yet verified. If we look at the network diagram, it shows the link between the two pieces of code we have here. As a consumer of an API, at the moment, our job is done. We have written our contract with our tests and we've now published it to our centralized packed broker ready for our consumer to pull it down, run its tests and verify that it meets the contract we have put up here. Now let's go and change the setup of our provider to verify this packed contract in our packed broker. Let's now look at our packed provider test in this code base. The existing test sits within our end-to-end -end tests and currently we have told the tests to look for a packed file in a local file location. But we want to tell our packed tests to pull down the latest version from the packed broker rather than having to copy and paste it ourselves. So we can do this by instead of giving a local file path, we can give the URL of our packed file on our packed broker. At this point, we could delete this packed file here, but I'm gonna leave it here in the code so that you can look at it if you want to read the packed file, because you won't be able to access the packed broker version. So that's the first thing we have to do. 
we have to tell Pact where to go and find its contracts. The next thing we do is we need to give it access to the Pact broker. So we provide the broker token. We've hidden it in a environment variable. So if we now run this test, it will be pulling the latest version of the contract down from the broker every time it runs. So let's see if those tests still pass. Make test. And that test has passed. But if we now go and look at our pack broker, and we go back to the overview, we can see that the packed contract is still unverified. Although the test passed, we haven't yet set up our provider to push its results up to the pack broker. And again, this is something you only want to be doing during your deployment pipeline. You don't want to be pushing the results of your packed runs whilst you're developing. Let's go back and have a look at our setup and see if we can push the results to the packed broker. And this is done by changing another setting on the verify request object. And the one you want to set is publish verification results. You need that to be true. So what I tend to use in work code is I'll use an, another environment variable which I'll change depending on the situation of when the tests are being run and where they're being run. I'm usually defaulted to false but set to true at the kind of the correct point in my pipeline. So let's run these tests again. These tests failed because of an incorrect setup in our verify request, which didn't affect the run when we were using a local file, but did when we were trying to verify. This failure was due to an error in the setup of our verify request, which only matters when you're publishing the result of your verification back to a packed broker. And the, the mistake was here. Instead of provider, it should be provider version to say which version of the provider you're looking to publish. So if we make that change and run it again, this time the tests have passed and hopefully we should have verified our contract on our pack broker. So let's go and just quickly check that. We reload this page and there we have it. Our packed contract has gone from being unverified to successfully verified. So we now are in a position where we are confident that deploying the API or and the client will result in everything working. And if we make changes to our provider, the book API, and we break the contract, then we will know here that the contract has been broken and we're not safe to deploy because we will break the, the Mark's book client. I hope you enjoyed this short introduction to packed brokers and how to send a contract from a consumer and how to verify it with a provider. There are a lot more tools that PAC provides that can help you in the setup of your project and hopefully we'll look at those in some upcoming videos. I hope you enjoyed this. See you again soon. Thank you for watching this episode of Testing All The Things. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please rate and review the video and subscribe to the channel. If you did not and you have any feedback, please leave a comment in the comment section of the video or contact me on Twitter at Braddle.